and go to the more tab and the first thing that you'll have to do is enable developer options so i've already done that but i'll show you guys how to do it head into about device and scroll down to where your build number the build number of your device is and then you just keep tapping on that multiple times now you'll see it says uh, no need for me to enable it since i've already done that but basically you'll keep on uh, tapping on that and it'll, it says uh, uh, developer options will be enabled in four uh, four more steps, three more steps, two more steps, and then one more step. And you just keep clicking on it until that message goes away. And then uh, you will have developer options enabled right here. And then you can go ahead and open that up. And then all you got to do is just uh, check the uh, box that says an allow USB debugging. And then we're done with this step. The next step then is plugging your S4 into your computer. And you're going to want to go ahead and access that Moto Chopper file uh, that we downloaded earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Uh, if you're on Windows, what you're going to want to do is run the um, file in here that says, that's called run.bat. So you can go ahead and run that batch file uh, if you're on Windows only. Now, if you are on Linux or OS 10, you're going to want to open up the terminal application. So I've got that open already. And then what you're going to want to do is navigate to where you have the Moto Chopper uh, file located. So I put it on my desktop. So I type in CD desktop and then CD Moto Chopper. And then the next thing that you're going to want to do is type in the command uh, period and then forward slash run dot sh. Go ahead and press enter. Uh, and then you'll see uh, it says press enter to go ahead and root your phone. So we'll do that. It says waiting for device. And it's starting successfully. And then a message just appeared on my S4 that says allow USB debugging. I'm going to go ahead and uh, press OK. And I'm going to check mark the box that says also uh, always allow from this computer and we'll go ahead and wait for this process to uh, continue running uh, a new message just appeared that says verify apps I'll check agree and then we'll give this a few minutes and now it says exploit complete uh, press enter to reboot and exit so I'll do that and my uh, phone is now rebooting and you can see the process is now finished up here on my device. So we'll go ahead back and take a look at the S4. All right, so now that we're done with the actual rooting process, you can see that